Hello and welcome back to Microbial Concepts. So today's topic is about isolation of mesophiles. Okay, so a practical topic we are going to discuss. So before starting, just a reminder to like my videos, do share my videos with your friends and do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get notified on each new video that I upload. Okay, so let's start with today's practical topics that is isolation of mesophiles. So what are mesophiles? So mesophile is a term which describes that microbes which grows best in moderate temperature between 20 to 45 degrees Celsius. Okay, but the optimum temperature, optimum temperature is the best suited temperature for their fast growth is 35 to 37 degrees Celsius. Now 35 to 37 degrees Celsius is also our human body temperature. And the room temperature is 27 degrees Celsius. Okay, so don't get confused. So that is the reason why most of the mesophiles are pathogenic as they can grow easily in human body. Now these mesophiles, they are found in soil, air, water environments or in food stuffs, uh, stuffs which are maintained at mesophilic temperatures or at room temperature. You can say that even at room temperatures, uh, these bacteria, they can grow. But the optimum temperature is 35 to 37 degrees Celsius. Now, most of these pathogens, they are mesophilic because they thrive inside human bodies. Okay. And some of the most dangerous mesophiles are Staphylococcus aureus, Salmonella species, Proteus vulgaricus, then Asenia, Entero, Enterocolitica. Then they are the main reason for food spoilage. And on the other hand, they are also important in the process of beer and wine making along with the process of cheese, yogurt and to the process of composting organic matter. So mesophilic anaerobics or anaerobes, they play important role in sludge and wastewater treatment. OK, so I have given you two points of economic importance here. Then uh, negative economic importance is some of the mesophiles, they are very dangerous pathogens as they can grow inside human body. The next is about your practical. So we will start with it. Okay, so what are the samples that you can use? So first is air. So for air, you need to expose your st sterile media plate for 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so that whatever the um, bacteria which are present in air, they will just get settled on the media surface and then you can in, uh, incubate your plate. The next is water, soil, processed cheese or curd and yogurt. Any of these samples you can use for your practicals. Then media used. So here we are not using any special or selective or differential kind of media because we are not focusing on any desired genus to isolate. We are just looking uh, for mesophiles to grow. So basic media that is nutrient agar or luria bertini agar can be used. So first, if you are using air as your sample, then the procedure is you use sterile nutrient agar plate. You expose to air for 10 minutes. Then uh, you incubate your plate at 25 degrees Celsius for 48, uh, sorry, 24 hours and then you observe for growth. Note or you mark different colonies which you observe on your plate, then proceed for colony morphology and then subculturing. Then depending on the results of gram staining and motility, you perform biochemical test by referring to Burgess manual of determinative bacteriology and depending on your biochemical test result, you can identify your isolate. Okay, at least till genus level is what is expected during your practicals. If you are using sample like water, soil, curd or cheese, then the procedure is as follows. You dilute your sample, say one gram of soil to 10 ml distilled water or one ml of water to 10 ml or nine ml of distilled water. You can dilute your sample likewise and now mix it properly. Then you use the supernatant that is 100 microliters of your supernatant to plate on sterile nutrient agar media. Now you can use um, alcohol spreader method 
to spread it evenly on your nutrient agar plate now you incubate at 25 degrees celsius for 24 hours and then you observe for growth now you can note after incubation you can note or mark your colonies different different colonies and then you proceed for colony morphology and then subculturing then again depending on your results of gram staining motility you perform biochemical test by referring to Burgess manual of determinative bacteriology and then depending on biochemical results you identify your isolates okay again till genus level is what is expected now uh, if you get a question in viva like what is difference between thermophilic bacteria and mesophilic bacteria then the difference is as follows thermophilic bacteria they are type of extremophiles that means they can live in extreme environments or in high temperatures mesophiles they grow best at moderate temperatures so the temperature for mesophile is 20 to 45 degree celsius optimum temperature is 35 to 37 degree celsius for thermophiles they can live at 45 and above temperatures like 45 to 122 degrees celsius okay then the optimum temperature is 50 degrees celsius for thermophiles now thermophilic bacteria they have enzymes that are functional at high temperatures mesophiles they do not have enzymes that are functional at high temperatures okay so the enzyme system of mesophile will be working very efficiently under or in moderate temperatures only now thermophilic bacteria they are not pathogens as they cannot grow at body temperatures mesophiles they can be pathogens okay so thermophilic bacteria they produce heat stable dna polymerase uh, heat yeah they produce heat stable dna polymerase which is used in pcr application of it and mesophilic bacteria they are used in production of cheese yogurt beer and wine now the examples of thermophilic bacteria are thermos aquaticus thermococcus littoralis and calothrix and synecococcus in case of mesophilic bacteria examples are listeria monocytogens streptococcus pyrogens and staphylococcus aureus okay so these are the uh, differential points between thermophilic bacteria and mesophilic bacteria now let's move towards viva questions so these are some possible viva questions that i could think of and they are like what are mesophiles then how are they different from thermophiles or sacrophiles then what is the optimum temperature for mesophiles so optimum temperature is 35 to 37 degrees celsius but even they can grow um, from the temperatures say uh, temperature range in temperature range that is 20 to 45 degrees celsius but the growth will be slow at say 20 to 25 degree celsius and the growth will be fast at the optimum temperatures okay the very best suited temperature is what is known as optimum temperature then next question could be name some pathogenic mesophiles then what is our room temperature and what is our body temperature then why differential media is not used while isolating then where you able to identify your isolate during your practicals if yes then what was the identification at least you should be able to identify till genus level then name two mesophilic bacteria and two mesophilic fungi is uh, e coli a mesophile okay so these are some basic viva questions on this particular topic so you can see here another table i have included so the nature of existence of some of the microbes as sacrophiles, mesophiles, thermophiles and hyperthermophiles. So you can see the optimum temperatures are given. So uh, optimum temperature range is given that is 20 to 20, uh, 0 to 20 degrees Celsius for sacrophiles. Mesophiles 20 to 50 or 45 is also 45 is max. Then for thermophiles 50 to 80 and hyperthermophiles 80 to 120 and the examples are as follows so i hope uh, this information is helpful to you all thank you for watching do like my video share my videos and do subscribe to my channel okay